Welcome back to So You're Interested In, the show where I break down an artist's discography in order to give you, the viewer, the best possible jumping off point in order to get into the catalog. On this episode, we're going to be looking at the synth pop duo Body of Light. Founded in Tempe, Arizona in 2012, brothers Alex and Andrew Jarson came together to create music under the moniker Body of Light. Before forming this duo, the brothers had some other projects as well that focused on art as more of a broad concept, expanding more into visuals as well as audio components. As time went on, they moved away from the abstract and morphed their sound from drone to pop. Or at the very least, they moved the closest to pop they possibly could by embracing electronic, dance, synth pop and even dark wave. Now, 11 years later, Body of Light is dropping a new album in June of 2023, one that seems like it's going to be their most accessible to date. Now, how could you possibly be excited for this release if you've never heard any of their other material before? Well, you can't. You simply can't. But as luck would have it, if you stick out this video, then you are going to be learning about two albums and three individual tracks that will help you start your journey into Body of Light. Just like always, we start with the albums. The first album you should listen to from Body of Light is their 2016 debut LP, Let Me Go. Still shedding their gothy ambient skin from earlier projects, there is a little bit of old mixed in with a little bit of new on here. There are dissonant synth pulls that will leave you spiraling at times, but then again there are also body shaking dance beats on here as well. Take the opening cut How Do I Know as an example. Even through the reserved vocal performance, it is still very obvious that How Do I Know is meant to lift you from your chair and onto your moving feet. As much as I think this sounds great over a speaker, the production and mixing shines even brighter when you listen to this with headphones. Also, get used to the opening tracks on Body of Light's projects to be the most entertaining. It just kind of seems to be a trend. But that should not take away from a song like Come Down. Now this... This is a synth pop track. The beat dances around inside your head like a sped up game of Pong, bouncing around infectious synth notes that increase your dopamine levels. To really boil it down, Come Down is just a super fun tune, much like the later track Moving Slowly. Here we see a lot more of their experimental side, at least in terms of the frills that surround the instrumental. Still, at its heart, Moving Slowly is a pop ballad featuring a singable hook, dense synths, and hard hitting percussion. It won't blow you away, but that doesn't mean it's not accessible or enjoyable. Finally, let's take a second to talk about the song Tremble. This song is gigantic and epic with a beat that just towers over you. Be sure to listen to Let Me Go while you begin your journey into all that Body of Light has to offer. Next up, you should check out their 2019 album, Time to Kill. This was my introduction into Body of Light and I really do think that it's going to help you get into them as well. Kicking off this record is the title track, Time to Kill. Without a doubt, this is my most listened to song by them, mainly thanks to the unique unique instrumental and infectious grooves. This is a dance cut from front to back, matching the same energies that a band like Hot Chip or Chick 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 would have. Plus, the lyrics and the hook are some of the most singable in their entire discography. Slowing things down a little bit, we get the cut Fever Freak. Somehow, Body of Light has found a way to make their songs sound both dark and bright all at the same time, and Fever Freak is no exception. The shimmering synths in the background give an uplifting feeling, while the rest of the instrumental drags you down into a depression. It is a very interesting listen to say the least. Finally, allow me to introduce you to the song Violent Days. Honestly, this song is worth listening to just to hear the lively vocal performance. Sure, the beat is bumping and the synths are flashing, but I still do think this is one of their best vocal showcases to date. It doesn't reinvent the wheel, but Violent Days is still worthy of your time. Don't skip out on Time to Kill while getting into Body of Light's music, it'll only hurt you in the long run. And that'll wrap up the album section, so let's talk about some tracks. The first track I think you should give a spin is Devil's Trumpet Moonflower from their 2012 EP, Luster. Just a heads up, majority of Body of Light's earlier releases were limited cassette runs, so it's kind of hard to find them outside of that, but luckily for us, this song is on Bandcamp. Anywho, this is very abstract in comparison to all of the songs you've heard thus far. This is also the most accessible from the earlier work, at least in my opinion. It's simplistic and raw, but also lays the groundwork for the rest of Body of Light's future. 
future. It won't have flashy production, but Devil's Trumpet Moonflower is definitely worth checking out. Another standout track is Light is Gone from their 2013 EP, Volanta di Amor. A huge leap forward in comparison to the previous track, Light of Love is a slow burner with desperate vocals and longing percussion. It's kind of cool how they can drag out every note to make each aspect of the song feel like it's yearning for love. It's no technical achievement, nor is it a pop hit, but Light is Gone is an intriguing track that I think is worth your time and ears. Last but certainly not least, you should check out their latest single as of this recording, Never Ever, from their upcoming 2023 LP, Bitter Reflection. I don't want to hype this up too much, but let's just say you've never heard Body of Light like this before. Incorporating a vast array of new instruments, Never Ever looks beyond their drab past and embraces a new colorful future. The production is much more full, too, with each passing vocal passage feeling like the warm sun hitting your face. And of course, how can I not mention that sultry horn that pops up from time to time? While I still enjoy some of their other songs more, there is no denying that Never Ever is the future of Body of Light's music. And that will conclude my video on Body of Light. Links to all the albums and tracks discussed here will be located in the video description box below. Scroll down further to the comment section where you can let me know if you liked any of the albums or picks that I have here. Feel free to recommend any artists you'd like to see covered on this channel as well. Just know I do have a bit of a backlog built up, so if I don't get to it right away, do not fret. I am probably working on it. Be sure to subscribe for more videos just like this twice a week, along with a show called Stacks of Wax, where I go through my record collection A through Z to flex the cool piece of plastic that I own. And yeah, that'll wrap just about everything up, aside from my usual reminder to go out and support your local record store if you're able to, along with the local artists in your area. And well, until I see you next time, happy listening.